Yo, what's going on? But once again, people, humanity, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, talk is Yankee Commodities. This is Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys know the rest of his intros and outros towards this channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. So today, a little special news here. Um, it's probably going to be like I always say, I'm always late as shit on news. So I don't know if that has anything to ever do with only get 5, 10 views instead of like 50 or 100 views would be nice. But I only get 50 or 100 views like once every like month or two. So this happens to be the video I get 50 under views. Thank you very much for watching for sure. Love you guys from the bottom of my absolute, even though I'm negative half the time, and a little bit of a fucking dick and an asshole. Of course, I'm not like that all the time IRL. <laughs> if I was, I probably would have been arrested a long time ago. But anyways, man, thank you very much for the likes and the views, even though I don't really get likes at all. Other than that, uh, yeah, let's begin with this shit. Um. Well, actually, no, before it begins, one small, tiny little thing. Not really announcement for the channel, no updates for the channel, none of that shit, but, um, <laughs> man, um, I go, how, how do I even put this in the words, man? How, how, how can I even, like, summon this up in a simple amount of words? Hey, you guys, I don't know if you've been listening to us by now, you probably left by now, but if you did, you're still here for the first 15 minutes, thank you very much in advance. Um... Where the flip do I begin, bro? <laughs> I'm not going to say Twitter is crazy or insane. Like, sometimes that site, yeah, it could be a little bit of a garbage ass. And I hate using this fucking word toxic, but so it's, it's a little bit of a fucked up place. Oh, I was actually watching this video the other day about, like, how these little Instagram influencers, how they make their money and their fame and their fortune. Be honest, I'm very, very happy I'm not a Twitter or Instagram or even a YouTube influencer because my videos, like, even if I had a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm not going to go too much into a rant because I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time if you're doing stuff out there IRL or not. Um, I already knew a lot of this shit was fake, but like, I found out the other day that the ones that have almost a million plus subscribers, not even a hundred thousand subscriber channels, or people that are like, you know, Twitter, or Instagram, even I. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a thing, but there's probably a bunch of Facebook influencers out there too, which I don't even use Facebook anymore. I've used Facebook literally like four or five years already. Started becoming very Orwellian, which I'm not getting into that. I mean, a lot of the social media websites we already use is already like government control already, but like I always say, if there are, happen to be one of you that do happen to be like a Federal Bureau Investigation, FBI agent or CIA agent that happen to stumble upon this video, uh, I'm going to tell you in a nice way, I don't support what you do, and uh, you're a piece of garbage, okay? I ain't call you a piece of shit, just a piece of garbage. Because I know whenever I get out of my job, I know not every tourist I, where I live, if any people don't not familiar with it, I live in the Las Vegas area, in Nevada, okay, the dust bowl shithole of the country, next to probably Arizona and maybe New Mexico. No offense if I got any Arizona and New Mexico fans that live out there, or subscribers or views or whatever you want me to call you um yeah um i know half of them aren't really like actual tourist people that are walking up and down the strip or some of them in their cars i guarantee you a lot of them are either cia dea nsa fbi agents that are pretending to be tourists that's why i really don't like talking to people that much around there because i don't know which one's really a, a narc i have no idea i don't really trust what they do yeah yeah you could say certain other things i'm not going to get into because i don't want my channel to get taken down but, um, yeah, they said, oh, the FBI did a great job. They're supposed to be the heroes of America, like the military. It's another branch of government I don't really care about. No offense if any any people happen to be veterans that are watching my channel. Are you served your country? Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. I mean, you, I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm going to sound like a cold-blooded piece of shit for saying this, but I, like, if you end up suffering PTSD after you come back from the war, I actually don't feel bad for you. I mean, you you made that decision to fight for this country, and to come back, you get all fucked up mentally or physically. You lose an arm or a leg, tough shit. You're just gonna have to suck it up. Sorry, it's gonna offend a lot of people, but you made that decision to fight for the country and for the people like me to have our freedoms. Which, let's face it, we really don't have no freedom left. We're just, this is almost I'm not gonna say it's as bad as communist China and North Korea, but we're slowly heading into that time where it will be like China and North Korea pretty soon. I mean, look at China. They already got that fucking, that globally fucking, what's it called? Um, The global report card of um good and bad things that you do on the internet. 
I wouldn't be surprised another year or two from now, maybe next year or year after. They'll probably have some sort of like weird ass, scary ass government system like that here too. Oh, if you did something bad on the internet, you're not allowed to drive this car. You're not allowed to buy this fancy home. You're not allowed to get this certain expensive food. You can only get cheap food. You can only get shit food. That's probably how it's going to end up working another year or two from now. So uh, me speaking out against stuff like that, I'm probably going to end up being on that list, which sucks, but it's a bitch I got to deal with. But not for the five-minute bullshit rants, even though I said it wasn't going to be a rant. Probably just putting a description box below skip to five minutes or something. I don't know. So one of the best fucking CEOs of all time, the coolest of the cool, Mr. fils -Aimé himself, this wonderful man right here. This is like literally, I think, the fifth, maybe the sixth time I talk about this dude this year. And the dude's been on, like, retirement. I think he's, they said that he might be going to the video game awards. I heard from some sources in some places on Twitter and Instagram saying that he's actually going to be going to the 2019 video game awards. So I'll definitely be sure to stay in tune for that with that Jeff Keighley dude, which I only knew about that dude in 2018. I didn't know who the fuck he was till last year. Maybe he used to be on G4 TV back in 07, 08, way back in the day. I don't know. But anyways, um, and then the last time Jeff Keighley was even a thing, it was like two months ago in August when they had that whole Death Stranding thing, the Tokyo Game Show thing, or before that. When he's like a little secret, like, egg. I forget what they're called. Um, Easter egg that's in the game that you had to find. <laughs> that's funny. So Reggie fils inducted into the Video Game Hall of Fame Awards. As you guys have been seeing it for like almost six minutes already. Former Nintendo president gets a lot of achievement awards. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Lifetime Achievement Awards. Reggie fils has been inducted into the International Video Game Hall of Fame after receiving the Walter Day Lifetime Achievement Award. As Nintendo President reports, as, no, excuse me, a Nintendo Life reports, Nintendo Superfan in Triforce was the man who nominated Mr. fils which quite obviously went through. Reggie was delighted to receive the award, nothing, <clears throat> nothing several other notable, or excuse me, noting several other notable gaming personalities who are also re recipients, recipients, like Apple Steve Wozniak. Okay. As it wasn't the Steve Jobs, uh, him and Tim Cook were the only two I remember because I don't really give a shit that much about Apple. No offense to Apple iPhone users. I just, I was always more of like the Android user, but it doesn't matter. It, what it is what it is. Um, the Walter Day Lifetime Achievement Award, rather unsurprisingly, named after Walter Day. You might not be familiar with this man, but odds are you've heard a little thing he founded called Twin Galaxies. Twin Galaxies serves as a verified and respiratory for video game world records and has has for some time now despite in the recent years of being more embroiled in controversy surrounding Todd Rogers and Billy Mitchell yes I forgot who Todd Rogers I'm going to google that later when I do this finish this video and everybody knows who that Billy Mitchell dude was I already did two videos on the motherfucker already I already got in even more trouble too if you haven't seen my chat and breeze video I'll leave it down below I talked about him already and like I said before, I hope he doesn't sue my fucking house. Reggie fils -Aimé happily accepts the award, a Walter Day Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. fils -Aimé was more than happy to accept the Walter Day Daytime Achievement Award. He spent a bit under these three minutes giving his accomplishment, or excuse me, his acceptance speech, a portion of which we've transcripted below. It's hard work to think that anyone else such, anyone else who has such a story career and has been such a force of positivity in the gaming world. Hats off to Mr. fils excuse me, Reggie, for the win. It's well-deserved, and you can see Reggie's acceptance speech below. What do you think of Reggie fils winning in a Walter Daytime Achievement Award for the International Video Game Hall of Fame? What do you think, who do you think should win the award next year? Let us know in the comments below. And this is his little um thing. I got to do the, the accent, man, because I love, I don't want to mock the dude, but I love doing his little, like, this parody of his voice. It's, it's just funny to me. This is, like, this is a... Lastly, I want to thank the players and the fans, like you, for having a passion in video games. And I was a fan before I was even an employee at Nintendo. And I think the knowledge of video games, and this is the knowledge of all the great franchises, and the ability to poke fun at myself to create all of the wonderful memes, and I think this will endear me be endearing to me at the community, and I do believe the love of the community is a large part of why I will able to receive this award. Thank you, Reggie fils -Aimé. <laughs> I'm not, like I said before, I don't like, I don't want to be like, what's it called? 
not shitting on the man's reputation. I will never shit on this man's reputation ever. This guy was a fucking godsend. So overall thoughts, season opinion. Shout out to the boy Reggie Fizeme. Reginald Fizeme gets this award. Thank you. Thank you, Twin Galaxies, for giving this man this award. Hopefully he goes he does keep his promise of him going to like the 2019 video game award show with Jeff Keeley. Because they said Jeff Keeley was gonna introduce Reggie Fizeme again. So hopefully. Fingers crossed we get to see it next month because I think it's in November the 18th or 21st is when it starts. I think it was the 25th last year right before Thanksgiving. So hopefully it's the same time. I don't know. So this comes from Brian. Any um, prototype Ultra 64 comes into the wild. Um, this is a really short one, so I'm just going to talk about it quickly. During the early days of Nintendo 64's development, Nintendo referenced the consoles under its name, code name, Ultra 64. Now, all these years later, a prototype controller has been found in the wild and been taken apart. Video game preservationists. Oh, I didn't even know there's preservation as a game. That's awesome. Congrats to those fucks. Um, Shane Betty shared these findings on Twitter. We have the following information and photos here. You guys can read the rest if there's anything on the bottom. If not, whatever. It houses a thumbstick significantly different from the final retail version. First appeared back in a black and white press release alongside the Ultra 64 in the, back in 1995. So I think it was 96 and 97 when the NC's working came out. Because it was about, I think, 7 or 8 when it came out as a 90s kid. I do remember it being super popular as hell at the time. Um, da, 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 da. Connector isn't a normal N64 plug. It is a RJ11 connector. Okay. That sounds pretty advanced. Back before its time. Nowadays, that's like a dinosaur. This prototype controller is also in development. Controller intended to be used with the SGI Indie workstations and U64 development boards, small Z, Z triggers buttons. <laughs> the board is close to retail, but shape and mount point slightly different. A B buttons positions are reversed, although aren't externally. The cable has been familiar three wires layout with a blue 4P header. The thumbstick is a broad, shallow cup shaped and has a circular range of motion with a directional indicator makers on the shroud. The mechanism is familiar, but it doesn't come apart like the retail stick. The stick itself is anchored by a cross position shaft unlike any of the other retailers. It just doesn't pop out from the opening. Okay. So this is how it looks all together. Oh yeah, you can keep track of the first developments of Prozite also for Betty White's Twitter account. Okay. I just said Betty White. <laughs> no, Shane Betty, I think that's how they said her name. Wow, so took it apart and they ripped it apart and they put it back together. As someone when I used to do like my college university shit when I was doing like computer like what's it called? A lot of like computer um not graphic designing but like computer engineering shit because I did get an engineering degree but fortunately I can't do nothing with that. Um, I remember taking shit apart not like this but it was a lot of the keyboard shit and a lot of the computer we had to rip apart and take it out within like five minutes. It was like the hardest goddamn test I took in my life. I think I failed it like 20 times. So that's why I had to go like four or five years of university college shit. Actually, no, two years I did community. And then the other three years was like the university shit. That was way fucking harder, by the way. Holy shit. There was times I really felt like just ending it all, if you catch my drift. But anyways, um, luckily I'm still here. I didn't do that. Because if I did, I would be dead in the ground in, uh, in a cemetery, probably in hell somewhere. Anyways. That's all I gotta say for now, people. I'm done here. Link description box down below to the Reggie Fusion May video that I watched. And speaking of which, I actually had it here. This wonderful man brought so much fucking joy and compassion to the Nintendo community, man. This man, I'll never forget him, man. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, talkers and buddies. I'll see you when I see you guys a day. Have a good night wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned for future cons on the channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that wraps up the video. Peace out. I am out like sauerkraut. Ladies and goodbye, see you on the flip side. Peace.